Hey everyone, so my favorite way of eating salmon is actually raw. Um, so sashimi Japanese style. Um, I'm sure many of you actually prefer to eat that way as well. But there's actually several things you need to keep in mind when prepping sashimi. Um, one of the most common misconceptions I've read online is that um, you can eat uh, fish fresh. And that is not true. Um, fish naturally have parasites in them. So whether it is tapeworm or um, bacteria or whatever, um, they need to be killed before you eat that. If you ingest any parasites into your body with the fish, and most of the time you probably just get a tummy ache, but once well, you, there are some um, pretty serious health consequences that you might face. So uh, make sure you gotta prepare your fish correctly, and that's just how we're gonna do it. This is red Chinook salmon from Kaika Sound that we caught with Murphy Sport Fishing um, early in the season, um, and it's vacuum packed. So when we brought the fish back to the dock, uh, the fish are processed, they're filleted and cut into smaller pieces, then they're vacuum packed before they're being, uh, they are frozen. The reason you vacuum pack the fish is to conserve the freshness of the fish. So the lifespan of this fish in the freezer is quite a bit longer uh, than if you pack it, let's say, in a Ziploc bag. Uh, we can keep this fish in the freezer for up to a year and still eat it and it still tastes just like fresh. Okay, so we're going to open this up and show you the fish. So like I said earlier, the fish need to be frozen before you eat it, if you want to eat it raw. Um, that's the kill of the, all the parasites. So the guidelines to, for freezing the fish are, um, in your typical household freezer, which is, goes down to about minus 20 degrees, you got to freeze it up to 10 days. And that will kill, kill the parasites effectively. If you flash freezing this fish at minus 35 degrees Celsius or lower, um, it's 24 hours and that can kill everything easily. The parasites are still in there, but at least they're dead uh, when you're consuming it. It might sound a little gross, but it's better than eating a, seeing a live uh, tapeworm coming out, wiggling out from the fish, right? Uh, so this is our red Chinook salmon piece. Um, you can see it's beautifully processed. Um, the rib bone has already been removed, and all we, all we have left is the, the pain bones up here that we gotta take out. So we're gonna grab one of these tweezers and we're gonna pick the bone out one by one. Um, you definitely don't wanna be um, having bones stuck in your mouth or worse, stuck in your throat. So it's very important to take this, these out. So just kind of like rub your finger along the side against, uh, so the bones are going this way. You gotta, if you rub this way, you can feel them and we're gonna take them out one by one. So starting from this end, actually. So this one, and it comes out pretty easily. Another one. Okay, so now that all the bones are out, uh, we're gonna skin the fish. Now these tweezers are really handy um, because as, as you can see, you can actually take the uh, bones out fairly easily. Uh, if you use your fingers, um, there's actually quite a bit of wastage um, that, as a result. So get, definitely get one of these, uh, excellent tool. Uh, so to skin the fish, uh, what I wanna do is I'm gonna put a paper towel underneath the skin. And the reason I do that is I want to catch all that slime from the skin. Uh, I, so the, the, fishes, the fishier part of the fish is the slime on the fish. So you, def, you don't want to get, you, you're trying to get as little of that onto your flesh as possible. Um, otherwise it does get a little fishy. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab the edge of the skin. You find it. So you have an opening and um, then you're just going to slice down and follow the edge. Very important to have a sharp filleting knife um, because that makes the job a lot easier. So this is a Northound knife, Northound filleting knife, and it's extremely sharp. But as, as you can see, all I gotta do is run the knife with very little effort and it just cuts right through the flesh. There you go. So 
Here we have the skin. Um, some people throw this out, but you can even pan fry this and make something else into it. Uh, so this is all the fish that we're gonna eat. We're gonna put this skin on the side um, over here. And this, this we're just gonna cut. I'm gonna cut right through the middle first. So I have two pieces. Okay, so we're gonna slice now. So this is a really nice piece of salmon. Um, you wanna slice it fairly thinly. Don't go, so that's very thin. And kind of do it in a, an angle, in diagonally, a little bit. Okay, so now we have, uh, this is roughly around seven, eight pieces. I'm just gonna put on the plate. So now we're gonna do the other piece as well. I'm just gonna cut this off. I'm gonna, so you have this, and you just do the same thing. Very thinly slice it. Okay, so there you have it. This is our fresh red Chinook salmon from Kaika Sound. Uh, like I say, it, it needs to be frozen if you want to consume it raw. Um, if you have any ideas, any suggestions or questions, uh, please leave a comment on the bottom. I'm always looking forward to hear from you and subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you check out our website at fishingwithrod.com. Until next time, good luck fishing and enjoy your catches.